everything is just like extra green. Look at that. Yes, I know, I need to mow. But everything's just green, 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 green. Beautiful green. A storm coming in. It's supposed to get pretty hairy today, but I don't worry too much about it. After the last few days that we've had, it's been just hot. Well, I found a good use for my old barbecue grill that I don't use anymore. I'm using it as a plant stand. Well, for now, anyway. With all these storms we've been having. With all these storms we've been having, it kind of helps protect them, actually. But I thought it was kind of cool just to use it as a plant stand. <laughs> I don't cook on it or anything anymore. Guys, I'm going to show you how to plant marigolds by seed. And you don't have to do anything extra. Don't You don't have to grow them and then plant them and blah, 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 blah. Do like I do. I've had 100% rate with this. Take your seeds and just scatter them. Make sure they're even and everywhere that you want them to come up. Let's see, a little bit more in this corner. Because almost, I would say almost every one of them will germinate, will come up. Then, Sprinkle dirt over the top of them. You do not have to bury them. Because if you think about it, seeds out in the wild, when the wind blows them off, it doesn't dig a hole and bury them. They land on the ground. The ones that make contact with the dirt are the ones that come up. So just scatter dirt on them. Then when you're done, water them good and wait for them to come up. I mean, guys, what I mean to say is you don't have to start the plants and get them so big and transfer them to your, your flower bed. Just scatter the seeds like I did. Throw a little light bit of dirt over the top of them and uh, just water them. And these are already coming up. Uh, I did. The, I threw these in there about oh, four days ago, and I see a bunch already coming up. I gotta get next to the step there and weed. But I've always gotten better results just throwing the seeds on top of the ground, sprinkling a little dirt on them, watering them, and let them do their thing. And then once they all come up, you know, then you can thin them out to where you want them. And the plants that you pull, you can put somewhere else. They're not bad plants, but you don't want them overcrowded either. But once they come up, thin them out to where you want them. That way you don't have to pull and plant and pull and plant. Just go through, pull out the, the if you see four or five in one little bundle, pull a bunch of them out. But always make sure that they get their four set of leaves before you pull them, before you thin them. Then you got, bring you a, a little pail of water, and the ones you pull, drop them in that water, and then take them somewhere else and plant them somewhere else. So just starting your seeds in here, you got plants that's already established, and then you got plants that you can pull up and put somewhere else. So you you've got plants for another bed. I don't know why I just keep saying that, but you get the point.
the little fence that I put up and planted green beans, they've all come up. This is like the third time I had to replant them because we've been getting so much flooding that it just keeps washing them away. And they never had a chance to come up. So finally, this time, they finally got a chance to to actually come up. So hopefully they're established now to where the if we do get another big rain and flood, it won't wash them away. Hopefully. But anyway, look how green the grass is. My uh, purple bean that I planted inside the old, I got an old well out there. There used to be a real well there, and they filled it in, and they put that old well on it years and years and years ago to show people where it was. Well, I put some new fresh dirt on top of it and planted uh, what they call a purple bean. It's not a bean you can eat. It's just a plant that comes up, and it's a vine, like kind of like a morning glory. But when the when the plant flowers, it looks like sweet peas. And uh, when the flower dies, it grows a really long purple bean. Well, you wait for the bean to dry and turn brown, then you pick the whole bean, you bust it open, and it has black seeds in it with a white eye on them. And that's what you want to put back. These do not grow back every year by themselves. So you have to replant them every year. But anyway, I just kept this old well here, even though it's just fallen apart. But at least it hides that hole, and now I have use for that old well. And these will grow up and all over the top of that old well and just take over. When they're growing, if you look at the leaves, the leaves on them are a dark, dark green. And the, the veins in them are blood red. It looks exactly like blood running through a vein. Um, I'm going to post some pictures uh, with this video. It's going to show a few of my flower beds from last year that I just throwed the seeds in, throwed a little dirt over them, just dusted the dirt over them, and uh, just let them go. I didn't do anything special to them, just watered them. You know, that, it saves me a lot of digging and this and this and this and this. It saves me a lot of potting soil of starting seeds and then having to transplant them, you know. So, and I've always had a, a beautiful rate with them. And I will post some pictures of those flower beds along with this video. Thanks, guys.